Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Final Fantasy, The Dawn of Souls for the GBA. I'm Samurai TX, and when we last left off, we um, went to Mount Durga and we got our um, blade done, but we did defeat um, Tiamat, which is the final fiend, so we got all the crystals, and now before we go to the final level, we're going to actually go through all the bonus um, dungeons which are um, which are available in just the Dawn of Souls version of these games. So we're going to go to the Earth Gift Shrine first, which is located in Cornelia. So we're going to go over here first, and it's right here. So let's get going and go in here. And with this um, Earth Gift Shrine, we're going to have to take four visits in and out of the dungeon. So you're not going to see me do all four visits because then that would just be a 40 minute video. And nobody wants to keep seeing a repetitive way. But the way you come in, or yeah, the way you come in once you enter the shrine, it varies. So you do come out different places and you do start in different places. It varies in every single shrine or dungeon you're in when you do these bonus ones. But I'm going to do them now because um, we got lots of time left. So yeah, I'm going to take my time with this. And um, depending on what floor you find these specific places, treasures will be located in different locations and there will be different treasures. So some treasures will be good for you, like they will be relevant now. Some will be irrelevant because you're so far into the game that the weapons will be absolutely useless now. I don't like when the games do that, but it is well. This is to go to the B2 floor. So yes, here we are. We're going to be taking four trips to the shrine out here. So um, yeah, you know what? The next time we encounter more black goblins, I might skip it for the rest of this video because like um, you're going to be encountering these very often, and they're going to be so annoying. Like, you can keep battling them, but they're not going to give you a lot of EXP or Jill, at Mara speaking. So, yeah, you're better off not showing these battles. Well, they do give you some Jill, but not a lot, really. Black Curtain, okay. And Vampire Fang. Uh, let's check what they are. I think a Black Curtain is an equipment, isn't it? Um, no. Well, you can really put Curtain as your glove. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, Samurai. You can actually use a Curtain as a glove. Yeah, none of these are weapons of some sort. They must be items. So let's go and check the item section. And let's go down. Do, 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 do. And let's see. Uh, Vampire Fang. Paralyzes one foe. Yeah, we don't really use those kind of items anyway. I used to when I first played the game. A black robe. A black curtain. It casts no shock. Eh, we're not going to really use those because we got those spells already. This only has five floors, so this um, shrine is pretty easy compared to the other upcoming ones. Protect Drink, eh, we're not really going to use it because we've got Protera and all that stuff. And then there's, a, this is probably the hardest part. So we're going to show you what we're going to encounter the first time. So we're going to encounter Scaldius. Not that strong, they're pretty weak. Cole can even beat them, that's how weak they are. And he's got Thor's hammer on himself, so... It's not really the strongest, he's only got 20 plus attacks, so yeah, they're pretty easy. Plus, the funny, you'll see the funny thing about these enemies in the minutes. So yeah, they, what they're going to do is, they run away! <laughs> that's, that's what I was about to tell you, and they just ran away. Yep, they do run away! So yeah, I mean, that's the funny part, I mean, the bonus part of these dungeons, is that the enemies actually run away from you! Silver Apple. Ah, new item which we have yet to receive yet, so... What the silver apple does, it raises 5 HP and maximizes it. And we're going to give it to, obviously, Bongo, who's not even under 600, so he needs it the most. So, yeah, whenever we get silver apples, just give them to Bongo, because Bongo rarely has any health, so that's okay. It'll be nice, if it'll be nice if I actually can have get another ribbon. Everybody else has a ribbon except me, so, yeah, we're going to need at least one ribbon. I'm going to um, just keep encountering these enemies and just see how they are. See if there's any treasures. Obviously, that's a dead end. And um, obviously, just the usual sticks where we um, just skip normal battles. But um, hopefully, oh, look, Desert Peed. So, yeah, sorry I skipped the battle. I just showed you that we encountered a new enemy in a Desert Peed. So, the Desert Peed is going to be being 666 damage. <laughs> I'm joking. Let's not do that stupid laugh for no reason. <laughs> Either. Not really. Wow, Cole with Fool's Hammer is really powerful. But I know that there's a much stronger weapon out there. I think it's called the Warhammer, which gives, um, which is probably the most strongest weapon that Cole can get. Um, yeah, white white wizard can actually carry Warhammer hammers, which is pretty hilarious. But yeah, that's probably the uh, that's easily the strongest weapon for them. 
and yeah, scold years. I think they're probably gonna run away or just die. Yeah, we're just gonna kill them. Yeah, don't really see why not. They're really weak and useless in terms of EXP and Jill. And there's a treasure up there which we're going to gather. So let's see what it is. And it's uh, Ever. Yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, we'll just use what we can get. Just eliminate you. You don't have any treasure or nothing. These zombies don't really drop any sort of good treasure. They only drop useless Jill and useless um, EXP. Because they're not really that strong. Let's go here. Let's see what's over here. Um, not much, I don't think. Um, we're walking into a tree. That's impressive stuff. Um, let's just go here. Yeah, there ain't nothing here except water. Yeah, nothing here. See, absolutely useless. Um, it's always okay to check your surroundings because, well, obviously to see if there's any treasures around. There's lots of treasure here, but um, yeah, some of the treasures can be useful. Some of them can be useless. Hmm, yeah, just run away from the Scaldius and just go this way. Just eliminate you and um, let's see if there's any treasure. Oh, there's treasure there. You know what? Let's go up and eliminate this enemy right over here. Let's just skip that battle there, and um, yeah, we're just going to keep skipping battles, because it's mostly repetitive enemies anyway, as it is. They're black goblins and whatnot. And we picked up an elven cloak. Ooh! This is an, it, this sounds like a shield, and let's give that to Cole. Um, it, oh, it's not an armlet, it's a shield, I believe. Um, let's see, no, no. Wait, protect- oh yeah, it is a shield. I improves Cole's um, defense by one and ac accuracy and evasion. Yeah, we're going to equip it because why not? Or should we give it to Groners? Now we're going to give it to Cole. Groners can lose a buckler and use the protect cloak. Um, improves his defense by six. So yeah, we're going um, to um, discard the um, buckler and give Groners the protect cloak. So we're improving our defense by a significant amount. So this is why I came around here to do this first so that I can actually get more equipment. So that I can be more better prepared for the final boss and the final part of the game. And um, it's proven to be useful, so yeah, um, we're going to be doing it often, so yeah, I, I'm glad that I chose this option instead of me playing it after, because then I probably would have been facepalming and saying, I could have done that, I could have done this, I could have done that, I don't want to have no regrets when I finish, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like that, you know that feeling where you actually um, play a game, and then you beat it, but you beat it the hard way, and then you play the get you play the extra content because you because you know that there's extra content. And then as you play the extra content, you look at it and think, oh damn! All right, so here we are at the um, fifth shrine, the B five um, Earth Gift Shrine. There's four boss fights in each of these shrines, so we're, um, we're gonna fight this one. So you've managed to reach these depths. I commend you, but your journey ends here, I'm afraid. And that's where you are wrong, so let's bring it on you, Cerberus. Alright, so what we're going to do is the usual ta- oh wait. You know what, let's do the usual tactic. We're just going to attack. Yeah, we're going to attack- well, should we? No, we're going to- um, you know what, we're going to do D-tactic. By D-tactic, I think we're- um, D-tactic is probably just going to um, put the usual haste, temper, giant glove, and all that stuff on ourselves, you know, cast for terror and all that stuff so that we can actually survive. Oh, oops, Cole has decided to flee. And who's been thunderbolted? Everybody. I was supposed to prove, I was supposed to use magic, but instead we end up using um, flee on Cole. Oops, I did not mean that. But Cole, there is no point in running away from this battle because we're not going to be able to run away. Right, so now we're going to cast the... Uh, um, giant glove on ourselves, which is Saber. It should give us extra um, attack boost, so that's very good for us, and we're going to use it. And what we're going to do for Grodus is um, attack and um, Bonga. We're going to attack with Bonga, and Cole is going to actually cast Protera, because um, it do it's better if we have Protect on us so that we don't take much damage. Because um, in the latter part of the game, enemies do over 400 damage, and if you have Protera on it, probably does 100 to um, less than 200 damage. So let's cast Protera on ourselves, and um, let's just keep going. Alright, so we got we got the giant gloves on ourselves, which is Saber. Um, let's see. Uh, no, let's go down. I guess we're going to cast um, the giant gloves on us and Grodus as well. Yeah, let's cast the giant gloves on Grodus, just attack a Barnka. But I do believe that we should be able to take care of the Cerberus easy with myself, because um, we got the Excalibur, and having the Excalibur is a really ridiculous sword. See, 1,900 damage. All right, that's okay. Put the Giant Gloves on Grodus. Might as well give him that attack strength boost. Um, yeah, I've, I've really taken a slow approach. I can't. Sometimes um, I, I really should learn from it, but um, sometimes I'm too slow to pick things, but that's okay. Um, we're not really in a panic, because Cerberus has been defeated. 
So now that I've showed you um, how to get to this place, I don't need to show you how to get there again and again and again. And we got a Kotetsu. Um, the Kotetsu, if we came here earlier, would have been useful, but yeah, it's not really that useful anymore. It lowers our attack strength by 23. That's pretty bad. Doesn't even help grow this either. I don't think he can equip the Kotetsu. Oh, he can. But it lowers it by 14. And Banga, it will lower his by probably 13 or something as well. 11, see? So that's pretty useless. Would have been better um, if we had it earlier, but it is what it is. And now we're going to use... Um, we're going to... Um, yeah, if we go back, um, the strange force bars the door. So we can't go back. We're going to have to use the teleporter. We're going to have to do this four times. So let's get out of here. And um, I will be right back on this B5 floor when we... Um, start a second fiend so it's gonna be the same pattern over and over again for this so yeah i'll be right back so um, we're gonna leave the area and um i'm just gonna skip traveling there so yeah you guys will see it constantly skip so yeah here we are back on b5 so um yeah we're gonna just cast some things on ourselves so what we did i'll show you what we got as well in the process we got another um silver apple which i'm gonna give to Barga. um give him over 550 health he needs it because, um, yeah, we've got a black cowl as well. Um, black cowl is pretty not useful, but um, we the black cowl is actually useful. It increases our attack, sorry, and um, like seven defense and increases our evasion. But um, we're happy with what we have so that we can avoid uh, um, special attacks from the enemies. So we're not really going to change our equipment now because um, it's actually helping us avoid the equipment to um, avoid enemy specials. So, yeah, let's go to the second fight. In me, all here, in me are all things great and small extinguished. Die now, warriors of light! Ha ha ha! Oh, two headed dragon! Hey, dragon! You need to fix your attitude. But hey, I want to put you in your place. You, um, you fiends are very cocky. And cockiness doesn't really get you nowhere in this game. Well, not when I'm around. It gets you one thing, and I tell you what that one thing is it is called defeat. Yes, I'm going to kick your ass, and you're going to be sorry for being cocky. But without further ado, we're just going to use, do our usual um, strategy, which is um, make our um, party stronger. Where's Proterra? There we go. So we're going to cast the giant gloves on ourselves, on ourselves, aka okay, me. We're going to cast haste on Barga, on himself. Grodus will cast haste on me, and Cole will just use Proterra. And yeah, I should be able to have the initiative to attack. So yeah, I'm the go-to melee person because my um, sword's the strongest and I'm the strongest in the team, so I'm the go-to guy. But for now, Manga's going to um, use the um, giant gloves on himself so that me and him can have the melee attacks. And Cole's just going to attack. So yeah, we do over 1,500 damage. Grodus casts haste on himself. And we take some little damage there, but Manga is going to cast a um, giant glove on himself to use that Grand Saber. And four damage is pathetic, but that's okay, Cole. Don't worry, you're not doing bad. Alright, so now Grodus is going to use the um, giant gloves instead of using his um, MP. Right, so that Grog gives him attack power, that's okay. And the two headed dragon isn't really as tough as you think, so um, me and Banga should be able to take care of this with ease, so. Yeah, I think one more strike from me should be able to defeat it. 2,000 damage. And it does! Crucial! 2,000 damage. Literally puts away the two-headed dragon. So that's two fiends down, two more to go. And we get a Bard's Tunic, which is pretty useless at this point. From my honest review, the Bard's Tunic lowers our um, evasion and stuff and defense. So it's not really that useful anymore. Like, it lowers by four and one. So, yeah, not really that useful anymore, the Bard, Bard's Tunic. But if we um, got it earlier, it probably would have been very useful. But as we are so far into the game and we've leveled up quite a lot, the Bard's Tunic is pretty useless. But now we're going to do the usual thing again, is get out of this place and um, make our way back to B5 and so on and so on. We're going to do this in a loop two more times. Now we've gained a level while we're on our way here. So yeah, I'll show you that we gained a level. I'm not going to do it too often because um, I don't want to waste too much time, but... Wow, that was a big uh, stamp, but that was a big HP increase by both Banger and Grodus. Banger definitely needs it. So does Grodus, because he's only he's only just died on 600. So that's okay. So here we are back on B5 for the third time. 
And um, let's just heal up our characters. I think we'd, some of them do need healing. Uh, let's see, or do we need something? Elven cloak. Yeah, we've got another elven cloak. So growers can officially drop the protect cloak and have an elven cloak. So yeah, in terms of shields, everybody's maximum equipped, which is good news. So yeah, everything's looking good in terms of the shield departments. But in terms of the clothing and stuff, everything's looking good. Um, the swords um, and whatnot can be um, improved. And we got spider silk, which slows down all foes. We don't really care. We don't really use those, but it's good to have in the inventory just to show that we have it, I guess. But here we are, the third fiend. You've done well to come this far, but you will go no further. <laughs> Who is this? Is a chidna or a kidna? How do you pronounce it? I pronounce it a kidna. Some people pronounce it a chidna, but everybody knows what you're trying to say if you pronounce it, but that's okay. Everybody has their different ways of pronouncing the name. But yeah, I'm going to call it a kidna. Or, yeah, a kidna. Um, that's how I've always pronounced it, like Knuckles the Echidna. I've always pronounced it a kidna because of Knuckles anyway, but yeah. It is what it is, but um, everybody has their own pronunciations of the echidna. And it's a very ugly echidna, but um, it's going to be beaten. Once we um, power up ourselves with um, the basic stats, everybody's casting something on themselves. I'm casting um, the usual strategies, me putting giant gloves on myself, and Grodus will put haste on me, then I'll be able to attack. And I'm um, cold will cast protect in a minute. But yeah, thanks for the haste, Grodus. Bongo's going to haste himself. And Cole's just going to cast protect, Protera on all of us. Good job. And now we're going to attack. Grodus is going to cast... Um, well, maybe Grodus should cast Temper, or Haste on himself, yeah. And, um, Bonga is going to... Uh, I think I should use the Giant Gloves on Bonga. Um, it should be nice, but, um, maybe I should have a better strategy to, um, try and do better. But Cole is going to, um... What should I do with Cole? Cole is going to use... Hmm, what is Cole going to use? Um... I don't know what he's going to use, actually. But he's going to use the healing helm. Yeah, I might as well heal everybody. Um, Gronus has taken slight damage, so I suppose healing Gronus will be fine. Bong is going to use the giant glove just to have an extra um, buff and an attack. Yeah, two damage, that's pathetic, but that's okay. So Gronus is going to heal fine, everyone's going to lose, um, get, regain some health back, and everybody's back to full health, so that's good. Seems the Echidna has done not much damage to us. It feels like he's done none, actually, if I'm honest with you. Earthquake. Now, if we didn't have the ribbon, I believe we would have died. And if we didn't have the protect ring, because um, the earthquake is um, one hit kill. But the echidna is officially dead. Goodbye. That's the third fiend down. Fantastic. That's the X potion. And what we're going to do is the usual. Like I said, we're going to do the usual. So let's go back. And we're going to leave this map and go to the B5 floor again for the fourth time. Sometimes you take two trips, sometimes you take three trips, sometimes you take four for these dungeons, but yeah. We're going to be going to the B5 floor again, off screen. And here we are, back to the B5 floor, for the final time in this um, shrine. And we're going to, um, let's see, we're going to see what we got. I think we got another silver apple. I think we did, yes we did. Off screen, and we're going to give it to Bonga again, so that he's near 600 health. Good news, Bonga will be near 600 health very soon, so that's a very good news. And now we're going to potion ourselves up, because, well, we don't really need to cast any Hilara spells. There we go. And everybody's at full health, so we're going to go into the full fiend. So let's go. And the full fiend is in a little mini maze, so yeah, let's go uh, to the right. No, nope, wrong. All right, let's go to the left, and um, up, then this way. Oh, wrong way. All right, so let's go up this way, and through this door here. It's just so we can get two treasures here, but anyway, there are, there are none who can stop me in all creation. You two shall fall before me. Ha 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 that's what you think, pal. Ah, you're a familiar enemy, Iron Man. Ah, you really are. What Final Fantasy are you from? Um, I remember correctly, I think he's from Final Fantasy Five. I might be wrong there, actually, but, um... He is from a familiar Final Fantasy. He is in another Final Fantasy game, but I might have picked the wrong one. It's bit, my brain is a bit rusty where some of these people come from, but the next one, the next bit of um, Fiends in the Hellfire Chasm, or Chasm, um, I know where those enemies come from, but I'm not going to give too much spoilers yet, because um, obviously that's for the next video. 
Hi, you missed your earthquake. Like right, cold part, um, cast Proterra. I, mean, I was about to say past Proterra. Cast Proterra on us. Good stuff. Cold, cold, cold. Good stuff. I've really enjoyed naming the party members after the Much Games. I've known these guys for um, a very long time now. I've been part of the Much Games for seven years, actually. Um, so, yeah, um, I've been part of it for seven years, so I'm glad to name my party members after the Much Games. I don't think they've had much of an issue, either, to be called them. Cole has been watching, so I know he has no problem being um, a white mage. But it's cool. Um, it's kind of cool that the, um, everybody uh, kind of didn't have no issue with them being called... Um, their names for the for my um, RPG Let's Play. I, I do like doing these kind of games now. Um, I know it's taken me a long time to roleplay RPG, uh, roleplay, Let's Play RPGs. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do more in the channel. Um, not for now, but um, yeah, you guys will know that I'm going to do more. Like I did promise that after I beat Fantasy Star 1. But yeah, um, I'm enjoying these RPGs. We should be able to go beat Iron Man after one more strike with our sword. Oh, uh, Grodus, see, after one more strike. I was about to say with us, but Grodus did the one final strike. Good job, Grodus. And what did you give us? You gave us a dry ever. Hmm, that's okay, I guess. Right, let's we'll see what's in here. A Mega Elixir. That's also a good thing that we need. But now we are done with the first shrine. And we can't get out through the door like I've shown you, so we have to get out like this. And that's no problem, so yes, we can return, and we have done the first shrine. So in the next video, we're going to be doing the um, Hellfire Chasm, which is where we defeat Marlith. This is the, um, the first one we did is where we beat Lich. I forgot to remind you about that, but we're going to use the cottage to gain our health and um, MP. But yeah, the Earth Gift Shrine was where we beat, where um, Marlith was guarding, so we beat, uh, not Marlith, Lich. Lich was the first one we beat. Marlith will be the net and we'll be the other one, but yeah, you guys get it. Um, and then the third one will be um, the Kraken, and then the fourth one will be um, Tiamat, but we're not doing those yet. We're doing the um, fire, Hellfire Chasm next, where we beat Marlith. But anyway, this is the end of the video. We've done, um, we've beaten the first shrine within 22 minutes, which is nice. So when we come back, folks, on Tuesday, we're going to be playing more Final Fantasy, the Dawn of Souls. Until then, until then. Thank you guys for watching once again, and I shall see you guys in the next episode on Tuesday. Until next time, Samurai TX is signing out. Goodbye.